Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Uh, this video is going to be focused around mortgage and delighted to be joined by Dennis Bastic from EBS. Uh, Dennis works as a business development in the EBS and the IFSC. Um, and look, the reason I'm doing this video uh, with Dennis, I suppose, you would have seen me previously do interviews with various other sports people and would have done the interviews with business people as well. Dennis, uh, in my experience, has a wealth of knowledge when it comes to mortgages. And although this is the Ask Paul page and people are wondering probably why we're doing this, for those clients that have dealt with me already, we will always try, because a fee-based service, you pay for your consultation and we bring it through your financial plan. If I think somebody else can get you a mortgage quicker or I think somebody can get you a mortgage easier than I can as an intermediary or e broker, we will always refer that on, regardless of whether we don't get commission or not, because that's not what this is about. If you follow me for some time, you know that the ask part is all about good financial advice, good financial planning, and obviously mortgages come into that in a big way. I'm very excited to have Dennis involved because he just have some really, really good products um, and some unique features as well, which will take everybody through now. So, uh, Dennis, good morning. Thanks for joining me today. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. To be here. Uh, but Dennis, look, I suppose to, to kick things off, I, I, I suppose from the Irish page, obviously we get uh, thousands of questions uh, and we do our more Monday questions for people live on Instagram. So I might try and start off just for a kind of a, a knowledge share, I suppose, with the viewers of this video. We might start off with a quick, a few quick questions that I get asked all the time. Obviously I answer them all the time as well, but just to get your opinion on them, I suppose maybe the EBS's stance on them, if that's okay. Yeah. Uh, so all look, right. first of all, I have, my, have my list here. So uh, first of all, we get into... Um, how long are AIPs currently taking? Obviously, with COVID, it's a bit of a different world. So uh, take us through that, if you don't mind. Yeah, so what we're really looking at, the rule of thumb is probably 10 working days. That's, that's usually okay. what the, the benchmark is. Some can be quicker, some can be, can be slower. Um, currently, activity is definitely up. There's a lot more uh, requests, a lot more uh, applications going around, a lot more activity. So I think um, that has slowed down things. But... <coughs> Also, you look into COVID as well, that's had an impact. But there is an onus there on the client or the individual himself. The paperwork is a huge piece, huge piece of it. And the clock doesn't actually start until that last document is in. So I think that's, that's the, the key piece that until that final piece of paper is in, the clock doesn't start and then. Yeah, we always say, I always say to people, uh, it's like a CB, isn't it? When you're putting your mortgage paperwork together, the, the easier the, the easier you can make it for the underwriter for the process, the quicker you're going to go through. If you're missing silly things, you're not clearly identifying where your statements are going from savings into loans. Transactions, loan yeah. Account or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's going to uh, delay the process. Okay, so we're talking about 10 working days, which is really good in fairness uh, once you have all your paperwork in. Uh, talk me through loan offers at the moment. So obviously loan, loan offers are a bit of a ball of attention with people uh, in relation to, let's talk about people that don't have a loan offer yet. So let's take someone going through as a first time buyer. How long are they going to get to get the loan offer? How uh, long did it last? And yeah, just a quick chat through loan offers. Okay, well, look, first of all, our approval of principles, they last for 12 months. So you have that amount of time to, to find the property. Uh, the process again, when you're moving from AIP to loan offer, that again is roughly around 10 working days as well. Okay. And then the loan offer lasts for six months. So effectively you have okay. six months to, to purchase the property or close the deal. So technically speaking, once I get there, just to go through this step-by-step -step process for people. So once you get your AIP, your AIP is just approval in principle, you probably don't have a house or an address yet, or you probably shouldn't have. Yeah. Uh, you shouldn't be bidding without one. <laughs> uh, and, and then you uh, come back to you or come back to me and you say, right guys, I have ABC property. And that's when you move to loan offer. So they're valid for six months, correct? Yeah. That, yeah. Okay. So after that with EBS then, how do we get an extension on it? So say for example, like my house falls through or that doesn't go ahead. Do they require do the client require all the paperwork or what's the crack? Yeah, look, effectively the, the full loan offer is the main legally binding document. And I think that's what you have to be be clear on. So any right. changes to that, any amendments, you're kind of back to square one in terms of you're back into for a reassessment. And I think that's the most difficult thing for, for people to to get by is that a previous approved loan or previous loan offer, you're actually back to square one when you're making any changes on that. And obviously okay. things have changed in the last six months. Okay, brilliant. So it, it, let's use this to kind of uh, pivot into people that have exemptions and have loan offers now. Obviously, yeah. you, you want to close on this loan offer because if you go back to the bank, you're probably going to lose your exemption, correct? Yeah, like the exemptions, if you had it, if you had a loan to value exemption, if you're a second time buyer, they're not available anymore. So you're making amendments, you know, and then you're back to square one. So that, that's not available there too. So it's right. very, yes, very tricky for them. 
that that kind of loan offer with the uh, with the exemption is kind of the Charlie and chocolate. That's, yeah, the golden ticket there. Yeah, but like some some things are uncontrolled. So if the, if the sale falls through, the property yeah. can't go ahead, and can't. yeah, obviously there are things that are outside the controls of the buyers. Yeah, yeah, but there are there are requests for people who like to change their rate or change their term from thirty years to twenty eight years, stuff like that. You know, they can be maybe avoided, and I, I'd be recommending just to, to sit tight and. And that's that. a great that's a that's a great tip actually yeah so i actually forgot that so if you have got a rate or you have got a term and uh, just take it and then either switch it after your fixed rate term or switch you, it you after can your change it's down. exactly yeah make your amendments afterwards brilliant that's a great that's actually a great tip for people